Hola mis amigos, I'm here with a new friend and she has an incredibly interesting story and I'm sure I'm sure you will love it. So what is your name? My name is Alina. Alina. Um, and yeah, I I guess in terms of language learning, I was born in Ukraine and so my first language was actually Russian. Very and nice. um, and then I moved to the US as a kid, so my second language was English and uh, and then I um, learned French in school and then German in school and now I live in Mexico so I'm now le learning Spanish uh, and that's been the hardest of them all I don't maybe because I'm hardest. not yeah because I'm uh, not in school for it so it's like not as structured okay not as structured so you feel yeah. like having more structure would help you learn a language a little bit faster or easier absolutely yeah okay. I'm not like trying to backwards construct like how do you form a sentence what what, what is a preposition <laughs> etc so, wow. yeah. <laughs> uh, which language do you speak more or I uh, use more I guess like on a day-to-day -day basis definitely English I, I use English the most um, and then probably followed by Russian with my family Russian with your family yeah. awesome yeah. <laughs> and how are you learning uh, Spanish right now since you don't so have, have that much structure right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do um, work with a tutor like one, once or twice a week when I have time. And I also have a grammar book. Mm -hmm. But I um, ideally, I mean, and I have obviously living in Mexico City, I get to, to talk to people. Um, and so I, my comprehension is much better than my actual ability to speak. Okay. Yeah. And how do you think you can increase that? Listen to your YouTube channel. <laughs> I like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, no, I think just um, having more dedicated time where I'm like actively working on, on Spanish and then also just making sure that I'm not too embarrassed to talk. Like sometimes mm -hmm. you're in a conversation and people are talking about really interesting things in Spanish and, and you're kind of like, oh, I also have a point of view on this like global political situation but I have no idea how I would express it in Spanish and so just pushing yourself to to try okay yeah I like it yes. <laughs> and how much time do you would you say that you dedicate to learning Spanish not enough um, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now probably somewhere around two two and a half hours a week two and a half hours a week very yeah. nice yeah I mean, but plus you're like always surrounded by the language, so I mean, I would say that probably helps out a little bit, you think? That helps a little bit, but I think I get into, yeah, I get into this place where I'm like, I understand what people are saying, but it would take me so long to construct one sentence that I just don't do it enough. So just having that safe space with maybe other people who are learning, I think would be really helpful because they'll wait for you as you slowly eke out that sentence. <laughs> Do you ask uh, the Spanish speakers there in Mexico like to speak slower and things like that? Or, or do you kind of just let them to speak however they want? <laughs> I mean, I think it depends. If I'm in a one-on-one -on -one, um, situation, then sure. Um, but if it's like a group of people, like four people talking to each other, I don't try to... Mm -hmm. I don't try to ask them to repeat themselves. They're, they're in Just their own language. Yeah, and they're uh -huh. in their own language. <laughs> yeah, I think I've struggled with that a lot as well. Like, I remember like, my mother telling me, oh, why don't you ask, you know, ask them to speak slower? I'm like, no, it's going to make me feel very embarrassed to keep saying it over and over again, especially because like, I'll ask them three times and I still don't understand. I'm just like, oh, totally. I shouldn't even ask. <laughs> totally, totally, yeah, yeah. And do you think it's very difficult to understand uh, the Mexican accent? I think it's probably depends on what you're used to because like I was at a dinner last week and there was people with a Mexican accent but then there were people from Argentina and Chile and also music in the background and I was like oh my god I understand what people from Mexico are saying but not at all the people from Argentina oh, okay. <laughs> so it's probably yeah, what accent are you used to? And, and also, like, what slang are you used to? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so there's more than just Mexican speakers there where you live. Yeah, the, uh, okay. Mexico City has a lot of Spanish speakers from all kinds of Latin American countries and, and European countries, so, yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah. And 
I, I don't know, I like to ask this question. Do you like to read in Spanish? So I haven't done a lot of reading in Spanish, but I have looked at uh, poetry in Spanish. Poetry, because, okay. Because, yeah, because then I can sort of look at, okay, here's one line. Let me see if I, if I translated these three words, which is doable, like it's a small mm -hmm. amount. Um, yeah, could I get the gist of what's going on? And I think that's really cool. Okay. Yeah. Have you started to listen to a lot of Mexican music, started to dance and things like that yet? Well, I always hear Mexican <laughs> music. I mean, <laughs> not just Mexican music, just uh, Spanish language music. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, throughout Mexico. And um, yeah, and, and to dance to it, it's, it's, it's amazing. And um, yeah, I think my goal is just like getting fluent so I can participate in more of the culture. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, muchas gracias por Muchísimas compartir gracias. con nosotros. Wow, that's a, that's, that's a very interesting story. I'll say that. A lot of languages go floating in your head. A lot. <laughs> Sometimes it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. oh, that's another good question. Which language are you thinking in most of the time? Do you know? I know some people they actually don't know. They don't know uh, like which language that they're that they're yeah. thinking. In. I think it's like very strange. I'm not there yet. <laughs> but. No, no. I mean, I definitely think I think in English at this point, but, um, you know, it's interesting. You also have vocabulary that's associated with certain languages. Like, I grew up, my first language was Russian, um, even though I'm from Ukraine, but my first language is Russian, and um, I never learned, like, anything related to technology or, like, creators or any type of that vocabulary because... I spoke Russian with my family, so I don't... Mm -hmm. There are certain vocabularies that I know in certain languages because that's what I use that language for. Wow, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's a lot. <laughs> muy complejo. Sí, muy complicado. Muchas gracias otra vez. Gracias. Es un placer. Sí, un placer.